Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get ready to this. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, I have been a divine witness. Did I do this reading for Capricorn? Capricorn, I keep seeing the number 6-6, six, six. Um, so you could be seeing 6s, but you don't have to be. Um, but if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Capricorn? How does this person feel about Capricorn? Okay, so you're getting the Page of Cups, oh, Page of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, wow. Um, you could be dealing with someone younger than you, first, firstly. There's someone that's definitely interested in you. I feel like uh, they actually see potential long-term here, Capricorn. Um, they definitely are, think you're cute. They're, they have like a crush on you. Like I feel like they get butterflies when they think of you. Um, I feel like this person likes to look at your pictures. If you have like memories, like video memories together, I feel like they w go back and watch those videos. Um, but this is someone who, yeah, they definitely feel like they, they could build something long term here with you. Um, these pages are interesting though. It's like they, it's coming across as that they just could be younger or maybe a little less experienced in connections, but um, you could at times feel Capricorn, like this person can be a little bit immature at times, like emotionally immature, like maybe they're not as, uh, experienced in having more difficult conversations i feel like they kind of just like keep it like light light-hearted um which there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like you, the, sometimes maybe you, you could ask yourself like are you ever serious <laughs> like can you or can you be serious right now um when like the time is needed um because i do feel like this person has a very carefree spirit like a free spirit is what i'm getting um anything else about those pages the eight of pentacles this could be someone that you work with um the five of wands interesting yeah this definitely could be someone that you work with what is this five of wands the seven of cups yeah there there could be okay so there could be tension here there could be there could be fighting between the two of you right now because you feel like this person could have other options um even though they see long term with you like Again, maybe they're being immature about the situation here and they're just taking a really long time to offer you something solid. Um, so you could feel confused by this person's energy. It doesn't have to be other options, but I feel like there just could be fights that come up with this person. Um, perhaps like there's even things seen over social media where it's like, what, like, why are you interacting with that other person in this way? Like make you feel, or they make you feel like there's other people involved. Um, but I also just feel like this person is taking a really long time to like step up and give you something solid here, even though they want that with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, let me just try and understand this. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Thank you. The Eight of Cups. There could be um, Nine of Swords. So we're getting Seven, Eight, Nine. Seven, eight, nine. So things are happening exactly as they're supposed to. But I feel like there's a there's a confusion around. Is this person gonna gonna leave? 
this per I feel like this person actually worries a lot about this with you here, Capricorn, but I feel like there could be like even like mirroring energy. They act weird, so then you think they're being weird, so you think there could be other people. They think you're there could be other people because you're acting weird. They don't see that they're acting weird. Like it's like it's muddied, it's confusing here. It feels like you're in a house of mirrors, is is how I'm seeing it right now. Um, so there could be a lot of worry around like, is this person going to leave? Is this person going to walk away? Because they're not giving me something. So they're taking a really long time to give me that solid thing that they say they want with me, which they do want that, the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to build long term, wants something solid. But again, with those pages energy, like maybe they're just... They could be saying things like, I'm like, I'm, I'm at the age I'm at, I'm not ready for that, or, um, you know, in time or what have you, or they could just be taking a long time. Um, so there's a lot of anxiety and worry around if this person's going to leave. But again, I feel like they worry about you leaving as well. So there could be fighting about that. There could be tension about that. Um, again, you could work with this person, but not necessarily. I feel like this person could also just be a very hard worker. Um, they could distract themselves with work as well. You are getting, so seven, eight, nine, but also eight, eight here as well. Um, this person wants something solid here with you. Tell me about the 10 of pentacles, please, spirit. The four of swords, the queen of wands, the two of wands. Yeah, this person can see a future here with you, but it's almost like they're keeping that to themselves here. I feel like this person sees you as this Queen of Wands um, Capricorn, someone who is very attractive, someone who's got it all together, someone who, um, you know, could walk into a room and people turn their heads. Like your energy is just very strong. So I feel like even though this person wants long term here with you, I feel like maybe some their anxieties come from the fact of like, you know, maybe Capricorn just has a lot of options. But then they start to act weird because of their anxieties and then you pick up on that and then I feel like you start to act weird and then they tell you you're acting weird and then you're both fighting about acting weird but not understanding where the original weirdness came from. And I really hope that makes sense because it, it feels confusing to me. Um, this person's interested in you. They want this. They, I also feel like they want to work on this here with you with that Eight of Pentacles. Um, but there's drama and there's confusion right now about, and it could just be like all in this person's mind, right? Is Capricorn going to leave? Is this, are they going to walk away if I don't step up? Cause I'm taking too long to give them that solid offer that they're looking for here. Um, there's a lot of mirroring going on. I just keep seeing like those rooms with a lot of mirrors. So you pick up on each other's energy very strongly is what I'm getting here, Capricorn. Um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or an earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think this person also like checks out like your social media, what have you pick, like they try to find out if there are other people involved here. There's worry around that. There is fear around if there's other options here. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Capricorn, please? Thank you. Four of cups, the hermit, Virgo energy. So the fool wanted to flip there, but it went back in. And then we have the hanged man. So I feel like for the first little, for, for the next little bit here, we have Pisces energy as well. This person's just like thinking about things. Like they're, they're, they're taking their time here. And that could be the issue because the, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the deck, right? So it could be that this just feels like it's moving really slowly. Why is it moving so slowly? Why aren't we, why aren't we taking that next step, right? You could feel like this person's immature. Um, but there's worry around this and the worry is will this person just leave are they here to just leave or is there other people involved um, so the next little bit there's a lot of thinking on this person's end I feel like they're really mulling things over they're digging deep here um, they don't want to miss out on this opportunity here with you but they are thinking very deeply about well tell me about the hermit tell me about the hermit, about the hermit. They're saying you need to go to the other deck, so I will. Usually when that happens, there's cards on the board that need to come out again. 
Um, but we'll see. Let me just give this a quick shuffle. Tell me about the hermit, please, spirit. Thank you. The Nine of Pentacles. This person wonders if they should just be single, if they should just be on their own. Strength, Leo energy. Or if they should work, to, yeah. So it's like, should I just be on my own? Should I just go back to my own independence? Or should I hold on to this and make this work and, and we can heal this, right? I feel like they they very strongly feel both of these options. This person is just mulling it over here. Um, and again, this could be because you're fighting a lot about their worry or your worry or both of your worries or just that you feel like this person's immature, there's not a solid offer coming in soon enough. Um, so this person's taking some, t some time out here to think about what they wanna do. I mean, there's a big part of them that wants to heal this here with you and hold on and be strong here. Right, um, Aquarius energy here as well, but there's also a part of them that wonders if it's easier to just be on their own. Anything else? The Emperor, Aries energy. The Three of Swords. Mm. There's that Ten of Pentacles again. Tell me about this Three of Swords. This person can be stubborn at times. Temperance, Six of Pentacles. This person knows that um, they, they need to, there, there has to be balance here between the two of you. There has to be more effort put in here. So if this person has just been keeping it lighthearted, not giving you something solid, causing you to worry, even though they're also worried, I feel, I think that they know in order to, in order to stop this pain that's going on, they, they need to put in more effort here because this person wants long term like the ten of pentacles coming out again but i do feel like they're stubborn so this is someone who won't show that they're hurting won't show that this is painful for them so they're just taking their time here but temperance energy is here sagittarius energy like they are trying to balance things here they are trying to find a compromise they are trying to make this work right i feel like they are leaning more towards that um, i feel like all of these cards are representing their desire to like make this work and to have oops to have this long-term some like solid relationship here with you like build up to you know building a life together but there is a part there is a, a part of them i feel like this part is much smaller um now that these other cards are coming out it's a little more clearer here this this part is smaller but they are thinking about it like i have to be honest here virgo or capricorn sorry you could be dealing with a virgo i'm looking at the hermit card um so Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Um, this person knows that they have to put in more effort. So that could be the issue is that they're just taking a really long time to show you something solid here. And they're stubborn, but they want to heal this. They do. They know what they need to do. They know they need to be a little bit more balanced here, a little bit more compromising, um, put in that effort to show you right um i feel like this person does want to heal this here but for the next little bit they're kind of just they might even just say like i need a break right now or i just like need to think about things and it does feel like they're just thinking about things right like they're mulling things over the three of swords is here but I, it doesn't for me it doesn't feel like it's because there's another person involved or what have you it's them trying to balance their own um because I just feel like this person doesn't doesn't show their emotion. They don't show when they're hurt. They don't show pain. Maybe they were taught not to, right? Um, but let's see their intentions. What is this person's intentions? The Eight of Cups. Tell me more. The Hermit again. More Virgo energy. The Four of Cups again. It's the same energy. The Hermit and the Four of Cups came out for their actions. So they want to think about this. They, they just need time to think about this. The Nine of Wands. The Seven of Cups again. Yeah, I just feel like whatever's going on here, Capricorn, this person just like they're the type of person where they just need to be by themselves to think about what they want to do here. They just need time to mull things over, um, to 
to, to really understand what they want here and if they can give you what you need as well. Um, because I do feel like this person likes to be alone, but they also have their guards up here with the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior. This is someone who has been through some things. So they, you know, their walls are up. It's hard to, it's hard to get through to them sometimes. The Seven of Cups here just feels like confusion to me. Again, I mean, it's coming out again. Tell me, and we got the Eight of Cups again. I mean, all the same energy is coming out. This person just doesn't know if they should they should stay and make this work. Like a big part of them wants to do that, but they they just want to take this time to think about it. It feels um, the Nine of Swords again, the exact same energy, and we have Death, Transformation, Scorpio energy, the exact same energy coming out here. This person just really needs to think about this here, um, Capricorn, because I feel like. This person could be younger and could be immature um, or either one of those, but I feel like they just, they really don't like drama. They don't like fighting. Even if they kind of like start it sometimes or they, they don't exactly like put out the fire, so to speak, this person's like, I don't know if I, don't know if I wanna do all that. Um, so there's a lot of worry here. You're getting nine nine as well. Um, there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of anxiety here. Um, I also feel like this person wonders if, again, if you have other options here. I mean, the death card, it's death rebirth, right? There is transformation here. Um, we'll see what comes out in the potential outcome. Like, I feel like this person does want things to change here, but they don't know how to do that. So they're just, they're just pulling back their energy instead. What, tell me about the potential outcome between Capricorn and this person. Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant. I mean, that is higher level of commitment here. The wheel and the fool. Yeah. Okay. So this person wants to take this leap of faith here. I feel like for the next little bit, there's going to be a period where maybe you guys aren't talking or um, there's a separation period here. But in time here, all in divine timing, I feel like this person does want to take this leap of faith. This could be you as well, Capricorn. Like, you know, I'm the one who has to understand if I want this or not. But there is higher level of commitment here. There is. But there's also a need with this fool card to like leave the past in the past, like not carry any um, unnecessary, I don't like the word baggage, but um, like the wounded warrior energy comes from people have hurt me before, so you could hurt me too, right? So there's gotta be a, a like there has to be a letting go of that energy um, is what I'm getting here. This person doesn't want to let you go with this four of pentacles like it feels like just in divine timing here there will be that leap of faith and there will be that higher level of commitment um i mean commitment could be really scary for this person for whatever reason right um anything else about the potential outcome the two of swords indecision but then we have judgment and the sun leo energy yeah so it's like, do I give this another chance, right? Judgment is let's give this another shot because I do feel like there's a lot of happiness here with the sun card. Like, the, like look, this is a beautiful energy. This is like feeling at your best all the time. Like it just feels like, oh, we're best friends, but we get, and we get along so well, but there's just so much joy. There's so much happiness here, right? Um, this could be a friendship for some of you. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a... I, I do love readings, but that's coming through is that it could be a friendship, but there is a decision to be made here. Um, but I feel like if the past is let go um, and you're able to see, not you, but just the both of you or maybe this person, um, see all the good in this, I feel like there is a lot of happiness to be had. Like the, this isn't, this is the card of second chances, right? Let's give this another shot. So, um, How will Capricorn know who this is? How will Capricorn know who this person is? The Queen of Cups. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone who has a lot of love for you. Someone who loves deeply here, right? This could be a very, this could be, I'm, whoa, that's very specific. I'm getting a nurse. Maybe that someone's a nurse or someone could be in a position where they're like, they take care of others. Like that could be their job. Um, but someone who does love deeply here. There's a lot of love here. 
They just have their guard up here. And maybe they're taking a very long time to uh, offer something solid here. And then the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. So for their job, they could do something where they care for others. They take care of others in some way. Um, but I also feel like this person, again, they just work really hard. But I feel like this is also someone who's willing to work on opening up here because the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Love. This is someone who loves deeply and knows how to offer that love, right? Knows how to give it and receive it. So I feel like if, this, if that's an issue with this person, if they have trouble opening up, if they, um, you know, don't always offer their cup of love, I feel like that's something they're willing to work on here. Any advice for Capricorn? Use your intuition, Pisces energy. Use your intuition here. See things without opening your eyes, right? Like feel them. Your intuition just knows without knowing how it knows, right? Um, and it will never lead you astray. Tap into that energy. Meditation really helps with that. And meditation doesn't have to be, you know, half an hour, uh, sitting in the quiet like it could be a, it could be five minutes sitting in nature sitting outside listening to the wind blow right like just becoming present in the moment but um, use your intuition here because I feel like it's very strong Capricorn okay messages for Capricorn if any please we have ascending learning and expansion transcending preparing for union new phase Right, so there is a lot of learning here. You did get death, rebirth, and this person's intentions. Like this, that's transformation, right? Um, and it looks like they're taking this leap of faith here. They're they're working on things. They want to open up here. They do. They're, the higher level of commitment card is there. That can be engagement. That can be marriage. That can be moving in, right? Um, and new phase is here. Cool. We have camera reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, perception. Again, I do feel like this person really enjoys looking at your pictures. <laughs> Um, okay, we got karmic relationship, resentments and triggers, perception, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Um, right away, as soon as I got that, I feel like that's that wounded warrior energy because they could have come from a karmic energy um, recently um, or that could have just been something that really stuck with them. And then r right as I said that, these two cards flew out, mask and the chaser. So hiding true feelings, pretending and delude, gaslight and personify, fear of abandonment, chasing, codependencies. So they could have been in some sort of karmic connection here because this doesn't feel like the, it doesn't feel like what's happening between the two of you. Um, but use your discernment. Tell me about the karmic. Thank you. We have the Ace of Wands in the Tower. So it could have been something that. Um, like, like suddenly ended here, suddenly shook things up here. It could have been a very uh, passionate connection, but really changed things, really changed your or this person's perspective. So either of you could have come from some sort of karmic connection here that um, I feel was, was very passionate, but I mean, karmics are, as it says, resentments and triggers. There's a lot of triggers that come through in karmic relationships that... Um, can make it very unhealthy um, we have I wonder if you are happy without me so this person could even wonder that right like will, will they be happy if they were to walk away um, could be a fear of this person's I don't understand what you see in me I don't feel attractive so this person could feel insecure especially because like I said with that Queen of Wands I feel like they see you as someone who is very attractive who could have anyone that they want um, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Mm -hmm. I feel unworthy of having love in my life. I feel miserable and lost. So, I mean, when people feel unworthy of love, it's usually because they've been taught that they don't deserve it, right? And that doesn't come just from karmic relationships with ex-partners. It could be, usually it's from family, right? Um, starting as a child. Uh, so that's pretty deep. We got, you came closer than anyone. Wow. We have rejecting you as protecting myself. I was being selfish. So again, if this person hasn't stepped up, if they're leaving at a very surface level, they're taking so long to give you something solid. It's like protecting themselves. I smile on the outside, but I'm dying on the inside. So this could definitely be someone who's really suffering, but they don't show it. And that's that emperor energy, right? Like I'm dying on the inside, 
but I smile on the outside. Like I don't show my pain here. Um, and we have, I feel overwhelmed. I'm drowning in my own thoughts and I feel you even though we are apart. So again, it does feel like there's gonna be some sort of separation here. Maybe that's already happened. This person, you're definitely on this person's mind um, and they feel you even though the two of you are maybe not physically together or won't, or won't be. We have night to be brave and honest, right? I feel like um, I, I strongly believe that being open and being vulnerable and sharing our, our pain and our journey and our story is one of the bravest things that people can do, um, right? So just keep that in mind here, Capricorn. Maybe that's for that person. Messages for Capricorn. We have forgiveness. So of course this can mean for other people, but this can also mean for ourselves, right? Like if we've acted in a way that maybe we wish we hadn't or what have you, um, forgiveness is so powerful. And then we have reconsider. So again, like the card, of, the set, card of second chances came out in the potential outcome here, and then we got success. So, I mean, if it feels like it's over with this person, um, Capricorn because there's so much fighting they could have even walked away or they're contemplating walking away or maybe you were um, it feels like there's just like a separation period just to come back together stronger here but there's I mean use your dis use your discernment because there will be a, a decision to be made here we have it's time to take action Aries energy a time to give rather than take Virgo energy A time for healing, yeah. Yeah, and that's what that Virgo energy, or sorry, that hermit Virgo energy is, right? The hermit is all about like going inwards, um, soul searching, right? Thinking about what, what it is you truly want, thinking about how to get there. And then we got thinker, number 44. So there is a lot of thinking going on. There is a lot of contemplating going on, but it looks like it leads to a, that higher level equipment, that happiness. Um, but it's just going to take some time to get there. Okay, so we have love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy. No matter what, in this case, the facts are the facts. So strategy, being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now, right? So I, again, I feel like this person is thinking a lot. That could be you as well, right? Energy is fluid, um, but there is a lot of contemplating going on right now. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person. Uh, no numbers today. Take it as it resonates, but if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have B, O, Y, S, G, I, and N. Okay, Capricorn, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.